All right. I hope you're enjoying our episodes today. This is going to be number 297. Fine music. And uh, those who know me know I get very self-indulgent. I bring up my own collection because I'm always finding new things, whether I'm trying to or not. <laughs> so here we go. And uh, this week, there are, seem to be two cases where uh, there's an artist who is a solo artist and a member of a group. Okay. So one of them, going back in time, is John G. Perry, who is also a member of Quantum Jump. And uh, this music... I guess you could call it jazz rock or fusion. On his own, the label here seems to be progressive rock. So I'll play a snip of his solo work. <laughs> like the two albums from 74 and 76. Uh, right away, I saw Uncle Seabird. I thought, oh, hey, there's a title that might attract Jim Bobway. Uncle Seabird. Uncle Seabird, yeah. Oh, he's he's always uh, at the family barbecues. He's the first one that gets drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you got three Uncle Seabird tracks here. Uh, I think oh, we'll cool. go for which one of the three. Which one of the three do you want, Jim? Uh, it's up to you. You pick. Up to me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Uncle Seabird has no truck. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to fit in with what you were saying. Nice. We got to take it away. Repossessed. Seabird, oh. Has no truck. Seems like a very Pacific animal. you'd call that either progressive rock or jazz rock fusion it's none of the above it's almost heading in an ambient direction there yeah. experimental yeah uh, and the first album sunset waiting really short songs except for one called dawn maybe birds and small furry beasts just to taste it So he seems like a pleasant dude. Let's mm -hmm. see how he is in the group. Quantum Jump. Interesting. According to my notes, Quantum Jump is a real mix of genres here. This is truly a fusion of different genres. And uh, they made two albums, 76 and 77. So he was a really busy guy back in 76. You have great titles like Captain Boogaloo. <laughs> the hit single, The Lone Ranger, you might have heard of it. Uh, and No American Starship was also a single. Oh. So uh, I'll play the famous one, The Lone Ranger. <laughs> See if you recognize it. He was the vocalist. <laughs> Hey, I 
So that was uh, actually a hit single in 1979 on its re-release. Nice. Hmm. Go figure. Never heard of it. No. <laughs> Weird Probably haven't heard of it, here. right? Nope. Weird coincidence here. I, I was telling Murray I picked up an album by Dope Lemon yesterday, and the title of the album is Kimo Sabe. <laughs> this universe is tied together. You know the joke. You know the joke strings. about. You know the joke about the Lone Ranger and Tonto, right? Tonto in Spanish means stupid. Tanto in Spanish means stupid. And Kimo Sabe is kind of a play on words. Quien no sabe, he who knows nothing. <laughs> on that happy note, we move to another artist <laughs> <laughs> who has solo works and also in a group. Uh, in solo works, he's got a new release. It's uh, a real blend of your synthesizer favorites like Jean-Michel Jarre and Ben Jealous, that kind of thing. In fact, the eighth track is a dedicated in memory of Ben Jealous, who passed away last year. Uh, he also did some works during the pandemic, Earth Hum, Isolation, maybe something out there. Those are all electronica. Uh, nothing but everything is got vocals. He does a remake of Peter Gabriel's San Jacinto. And so I'll just play something from the new album. I know this last track is a mellow one. Because it's, it's a really nice uh, tribute to Vangelis. Let's see. Squeeze ahead there. So that's totally going for the Vangelis sound. Uh, but the rest of the album, let's look closer to Zami Soljar. Um, let's go to part four, just for a taste of that. This is knocking on the door of Ambient too, huh? Electron Ambient, Electronic. Repeating synthesizer chords is, is really a trademark of John Michelle See the influence there. So that's pleasant stuff. Really, yeah. really pleasant. Uh, and, but then, in the group, a different story, right? Just like with the other guy. Life in Digital. He's working with a vocalist who was on the short list to replace John Anderson in the S. So he sounds high pitched like that. And my introduction to this group and of course, John Beagley was a song called Unending, which is a great imitation of Yes. So I'll play you a snip of that. From their first album, 2,951 seconds of sound. The idea there. Sounds and exactly if you like look at Anderson. the other releases, uh, he truly is a devotee of Angelus. Uh, they do, they did a remake of the song Horizon, which is the epic song that John Evangelist did, John Anderson and Evangelist. And so they did that very well. It's not an official release, that's why you don't see a cover. Copyright, I guess, would be a problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, at first, I lifted these songs off of the internet. That's what the three-track thing is, because they also do a version of I'll Find My Way Home. So you John and Vangelis fans can find their versions. And of course, uh, 
They have their second album, Signs to the Far Side, has an epic on it of his own called Karma. It's very nice. And they have a new album just coming out. I haven't bought it yet. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. My first impression wasn't as great. I want to play a snip of this just to see how karmic it is. Yeah, that's pretty karmic. Well, just fell off a sound ledge right there. All right, so you get the idea there. Interesting. I'm a big fan of Vangelis, so anything remotely Vangelis like, I'm checking out. And he seems to understand that there's a market for this, a void because of Vangelis' death. So he seems to be uh, trying to fill that void. And uh, since uh, the word ambient, has been a, a happy cuss word today. I'm going to share uh, an artist you've heard of, Moby. You've heard of Moby. Yeah. Now, Moby, many genres. But apparently during the pandemic, he got busy with ambient, real busy, like oh. never before. And so he's got this album called Ambient 23, as in 2023. And it's two and a half hours of ambient songs. I'm not wow. sure you can use the word songs, but each of them is like 10 minutes long, approximately, give or take a minute. So I'll play a snip of that and you'll go, damn, that's ambient. <laughs> I mean, he's got songs like God moving his face over the waters and when the rain falls, the sky shudders. Really beautiful, danceable ambient. This is not danceable ambient. This is pure ambient. Guess Moby's getting old. <laughs> oh, this, this is really pleasant stuff. Yeah. It's like Brian Eno's stuff, ambient stuff, a little bit. Yeah, this one has a you know nice. keyboard flavor. Right. Music to die by. <laughs> well if you want to go pleasantly <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> yeah i just picked that up last night so i haven't had a chance music to listen to, to this one all music the way to die by that would be a great name for a group a band <laughs> yeah fit that album cover collection of yours yeah. uh i'll yeah. play just one more snip just to see if it's any different another 10 minute yeah that's really... he's definitely Gone deep in the ambient, that's for sure. Just like Brian Eno did. All right, so that's all you got to endure today because that's pretty much all that's new. I just uh, found an album by the Stylistics, and that's on Fine Music. That is a previously unheralded album. I'll just mention it. It's called Fabulous from 1976. And really doesn't have any original hits like they have, their hits are so damn famous right yeah uh, but this album is probably their most consistent love songs album so if you're looking for a love songs album fabulous mm -hmm. is the one to get from the stylistics if you want love songs and that's the report for today november 27th 2023 fine music episode 296 has concluded watch for these on youtube in fact, if you're watching this, you're, you already did. But also <laughs> be sure to go to Facebook to the Fine Music Group there, and you can join our newest member from Russia. Just joined today. I can't even pronounce his name, but we'll see if he posts anything. You can post your discoveries, and you can comment on the ones we put up as well. All right, so hope to see you there. All right.